Economic growth is up and unemployment is down at an 18-year low. The economy under President Trump continues to boast some impressive stats. The Federal Reserve raising the benchmark interest rate for the second time this year, thanks in large part to a surge in consumer spending. And CNBC special correspondent Jane Wells saying the strong economic showing could make President Trump unbeatable in 2020. I'm the sort of person that says, you may not like this president, he has broken the mold, but if by 2020 we have GDP growth near 4%, yeah. we've got a market like this, we've got record low unemployment, we've got more jobs than job applicants, yeah. how do you not <laughs> reelect this guy even if you think he's a buffoon? People are going to say, I don't like him, he's a racist, he's a misogynist, uh, poor illegal uh, immigrants. But I'm doing better than I was four years ago. America is safer than it was four years ago. The economy's doing better. There are more jobs. And I just don't know how that gets defeated. Hmm. Jane Wells is a smart cookie. I've known her for a long time. She's a straight shooter. Kennedy, what do you think? Uh, she's absolutely right. A lot obviously can change between now and 2020. We don't even know right. uh, who's going to be in that massive Democratic field. But if people have jobs, if they're able to spend and save money like they have been able to do for the last 10 years, they may, when a pollster calls, pick up the phone and say, oh, yes, I'm voting for Democrat X like they did in 2016. But the reality is, if your personal economy is doing better, you're more likely to vote for whoever is in office right now. Much can go wrong. We've seen that happen. We saw that in 2008. We fell off a cliff pretty quickly. I am, unlike Bill Maher, hoping and praying that we do not go into a massive recession right. and we continue the economic upswing for everyone. It's the economy, stupid, right? I it mean, is. that's what she said it. Everybody says it. I, I think President Trump right now is unbeatable. I don't think there's a single person on the planet that could beat him right now. Uh, you also have to couple in not only with the strong economy, but things are going better overseas. They see the progress in North Korea. It gives people a, sa a sense of safety and security. And that's sort of the one two punch that the president brings to the table. You hear Democrats even say you may hate his style. You may hate what he has to say. But it gets hard to argue with the results when they have a fair, he has a fair bit to point to. Well, exactly. And I wonder how long it's going to take for her to walk back those comments. Because it seems like anyone that says anything positive about him, they immediately walk it back oh, on. I don't know. But, it's a tough cookie. All right. Well, I'll take your word for it. But okay. I, I agree with everything she said on the economic front and, and also what you guys have said on the couch. But I, I will look, all those criticisms that, you know, she just laid out for him were the same things that were said in the 2016 election. He still did better than Mitt Romney did with Hispanics, with African-Americans. He won the suburbs. And think about the coalition that he was able to cobble together. I honestly can't think of a single Republican that ran that would have been able to pull together those working class voters to be able to win Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Wisconsin, sure. while simultaneously winning the suburbs. So, I mean, I honestly can't think of any of those candidates that would be able to have done that. So, you know, I, I think right now he's in great shape. Well, especially if, if they run as far left as they're threatening. Yeah, well, well, yeah which could very I, well happen. All of that said... I mean, the what's going on with tariffs? I mean, the economy could falter. Yes. It is predicated on the economy staying strong, right, Kennedy? Yeah, absolutely right. And, you know, there's a lot, and, and that's why it's it's difficult, obviously, for presidents to take credit for the stock market, but there are so many issues, especially when, you know, it really is, whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter how much of a protectionist you are, it is a global economy. And, you know, you have to see stability in order for uh, our GDP growth to improve. and. But hopefully it will. Hopefully it will stay at 4%. But, you know, much can change. And hopefully the tariffs are a negotiating tool for expanded became, free trade. He became President Trump because he got blue-collar Democrats to vote for him. And that continues to be a very strong point for the president. Interesting. All right. Thanks, guys. Can I ask about the economy? Because this economy is going pretty well. We have to... What? You're, why, why is that funny? Hey, it is going well for now. For now, right. That's my <laughs> Thank you. That's my question. <laughs> is, like, the, I feel like the bottom has to fall out at some point. And by the way, I'm hoping for it because I think one way you get rid of Trump is a crashing economy. Yeah. So please, bring on the recession. Yeah. Sorry if that hurts people, but it's either root for a recession or you lose your democracy. Trump, um, just, I think, a, a day ago, um, ben Bernanke gave, uh, um, made a speech where he gave some testimony, which is really interesting. He said, look, this economy is now the second longest expansion in, in post-war history. It's, it's at about nine, I think, nine years, some at 10 years, it would be the longest expansion. It's been slow, slow but steady. 
Uh, there are no great imbalances. So it's difficult to see where things would go wrong. Economists are famously bad at predicting this. Yeah. There's a saying, economists have predicted nine of the last five recessions. <laughs> you know? So, so you, you have to be cautious. So he described, this is Ben Bernanke, conservative Republican appointed by Bush. He said this is the wily e. Coyote economy. It's going, but at some point, these things, these right, problems the will accumulate. <laughs> yeah. and then, you know, okay. So maybe you'll get your wish, but, but, right. it, but he sounded like it was more next year.